Hey there, it's Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group, aka Sean the Stats Geek, and we're here with um, uh, the Denver Metro monthly report. This is for March 2023, and this is courtesy of our friends at First American Title. And uh, just going to run through some of these numbers with you and get into what they mean if you have real estate plans in 2023 at all. So we're looking at uh, this is what March 2023 looks like in these categories the month over month change and then the year over year change uh, we'll talk about a little bit too, because as we know, March of 2022 looks significantly different than 2023. And there's two main categories here, detached single family homes. So that's your traditional freestanding home versus attached is going to be condos, townhomes, multifamily properties. We're going to focus on the single family home. Uh, so in March, there are there, there were 2,700 properties that were on the market. That's an average of every single day in March, so an average of 2,700 homes on the market. Uh, under contract, 2,829 represents a 12% increase from February, yet a 7% decrease from March of 22. Closed properties, you can see nearly 2,600, a uh, huge increase of 36% compared to Feb yet a sizable decrease of 25% compared to March of last year. Uh, expired, we'll skip over. Odds of selling, this is an interesting one that we follow each week, actually. Your odds of selling in March went up by 4.2%, pretty negligible number. Look, it's down 76% uh, compared to March of last year. So March of last year, 80% odds of selling. Uh, that's the supply-demand equilibrium there, obviously demand being down this year versus last year when the interest rate was half of where it is today. Um, close price to list price ratio. Homes do not experience a delta between their asking price and their selling price on average, 99.9%. Uh, that is down though, 7% from last year because of course last year, most homes got multiple offers bidding it up to an average of 107%. Uh, the average sold price, this is where people's eyes tend to gravitate towards. So average sold price, median sold price up 2% and 3.1% month over month. That does just measure what's sold in the month of March compared to the month of February. So that's not, you know, the average home is worth that much more. Uh, compare that to last year, a decrease of six and a half percent average and 5% median. Uh, percent of closed transactions with reduced prices actually went down 10% month over month, yet, of course, up 46% from the previous year. And the average price reduction last month was 6.3%. Uh, percent of transactions that closed under asking price was about 40%, and that's down 12% from last month, yet up 42.5% from 22, 2022. Uh, percent, you can see the breakdown, the, the rest of the breakdown here, percent that closed with a full price offer and then over asking price. So the over asking price has actually went up 9% compared to February of this year. Of course, that's down significantly 55% from last year. Uh, average and median days on market. I tend to focus on the median because average can be skewed. So median days on market was 10. That's down a whopping 62% from February. So that's a big deal when you're thinking about uh, buying a home or selling a home for you know, obviously varying reasons, uh, yet up 150% from last year. Flash sales. So these are homes under contract in seven days or less. Uh, nearly half the homes did go under contract in less than seven days, as you can probably guess with just 10 median days on market. That's up 11% from last month and down 54% or 53.4% from March of 2022. There is a one month supply of inventory right now that's down a quarter per, or sorry, quarter percent, 25% from February and up uh, a huge number, 172% from last year. No distressed transactions to speak of. Uh, and here's what's fueling everything that's going on in this market. The average interest rate in March was 6.97%. That has since come down significantly as of today or yesterday, I should say, that was 6.18%. Uh, that does so the average represents an increase from February and obviously a big increase from last year. Average principal and interest payment. You can see where that number lies. Thanks so much for watching. Again, Sean Reddy, Keller Williams Reddy Group, Sean the Stats Geek. We'll see you next month.